so the next thing that we will do over here is we will refactor this particular code because it is looking quite messy over here so we need to make something like this much cleaner right so what we will do is we'll go to the widget over here and uh, we will create a new file and call it as a custom uh, i think custom then i'll just say uh, dead custom dead peer picker um i think form field dot the dot sorry form f i e l d field dot the dot okay custom dead picker and i'll just create a stateless uh, widget over here and give a name as a custom date uh, custom date picker form field right so we got that one and import the uh, this particular material uh, let us import the material library over here or the package and this return container what we want to do over here is we want to return this one right so just copy this section and just cut this section from here and we will return it from here so i need to return it from here and let us try to arrange it a bit properly over here okay we need to pass in this function we need to pass in the controller and we need to pass in the label right so what we will do is we'll go on the top and we'll create a final first of all final and we need a controller so text editing controller and that should be of our controller that we have and we will need a final of the string and we will need a label right so txt l a uh, l a b e l txt label that we need and also we will need the final of the function that we need to pass in for this particular third picker so i need a function of the uh, void callback i think we'll just use the void callback and i'll just call it as a callback and i think also make it as a private field and inside this uh, we will add our required field so we need to pass in the required field over here and that should be uh, first of all we will pass the controller so text uh, editing text editing controller and i'll just call it as a controller and this should be of a required so required field require the this one and uh, we will also require the other two so that should be of a string and this will be of the txt label and here we will pass the void callback right so void callback and it should be of the callback that we have and once we got that one we have to assign it over here so underscore controller that we have is of equals to the controller that we are getting and another one is of the underscore txt label that we have is equals to the txt label that we are getting and then we have finally a void callback callback and that should be of a callback that we are getting what is the one that we are getting callback right so i think that should be fine so we got all of the required fields so we are passing as a constructor parameter over here and then i need to pass this one to the controller that we are getting and this is the field that we are getting so it should be of a txt label that we are getting in and i need to remove this const from here and i need to pass this one as a const over there and also here i will just pass in the uh, underscore txt label that we got and this one i need to pass the callback that we are getting so callback so underscore callback right so on type requires a void function so this is the void function that we are passing so void callback is a function that we are actually calling it so 
now once we got this particular uh, widget custom date picker form field we'll go over here to our employee screen and we'll call over here custom uh, we have a custom date picker form field right so we need to pass in the controller so in underscore date upper controller and, and then we have the let me arrange it properly and label we we'll just call it as a date of birth and then callback we will call the function over here so we got the particular function i think where is our function sorry where is the function yeah this function we need to call right so pick date of birth so i'll just call that function from here pick uh pick data part and pass in the context i think we are good to go over here with that one so let us uh, run our application and now uh, let me just go to the add employee and this is username this is of a name last name and data but yeah we got the field and let us select some date from here and i'll just select one okay i'll just select a two so 0201 so yeah we are going back to uh 01 1986 right so that should be fine so now we are able to select a uh, dead picker and it's working perfectly fine so we have refactored our code over here so let's meet up on the next one and uh, we will try to refactor something more and before that one i will go over here and i'll just call it as um, debug so check mood banner and i'll just call it as a false and i don't want to see that particular banner over there so the banner is gone so that's all let's meet up on the next one till then have a great day